pass to go over the five C's of credit program with you uh, in terms of what you're looking for. And, and I like to say here at this point that these are, these are really the very, very basic uh, outline for a business plan. But these are the questions that a lender, when you get into the other room, a lender is going to ask you these questions. Or an investor, or a partner, or an angel may ask you as well. Um, they may ask you the following five. The first one, character. So in your business plan, or your proposal, or whatever you want to call it, you want to talk about your character, your background, your education, your partner. Um, what's your experience in running the business? How long have you been in business? Uh, those types of things would, would be listed under management ability and character. That's what we say by character. Um, the second item there is capital, and it's, it's real simple. Uh, how much money do you need? It's not as simple as, as, as I'm going to make it sound, but how much money do you need? How much do I need to borrow? And how much do I have to invest? It's those three items. Um, when it comes to financing, there's, there's very little sources out there that provide 100% financing. You can have the greatest idea in the world, um, but there's not 100% financing out there that I'm aware of. Um, there are some grant programs, and we'll talk about that later on, but in terms of capital, now when I say capital, how much money do I need? Um, I, I often get this question, well, how much can I get? <laughs> That's not a good answer. Um, you need to tell me. I'm not an expert on your small business. I don't know what certain items cost. Um, and I don't know if you're making up a story to tell me what those items cost. I need you to verify what you're going through in terms of finding out costs. So if you tell me that leasehold, leasehold improvements are going to cost a certain amount of money, I'm going to want to see an estimate. Very simple stuff. It's not a, it's not a big deal in terms of finding equipment, finding all you know, these things on internet, sites, that kind of thing. Just give us a general ballpark. I'm not asking for down to the, the, the last penny. So again, how much money do I have? How much do I need? And how much do I have to, uh, do I need to borrow? Uh, and we'll go from there. Now, when it comes to capital, you want to make sure that any money that you have to invest in the business is not a loan. A lot of folks think that, well, I'll go out and just get a, a, a partner that will loan money into the business and I'll pay them back if that counts as my equity. It cannot be from borrowed sources. Uh, it's very important that um, you make that distinction. The bank will verify it. All my banker friends in the room, they know you will verify it because we, we require them to verify where that set, uh, source of capital comes from. So that's from the capital side. Capacity, that's another C uh, that we look at. And that is uh, the capacity or your ability to repay the loan from your, uh, your revenues or your net profit. Um, so how we can do that, especially if you're in a startup situation, there are folks out there and there are, there are, there's information out there that talks about industry averages. Uh, so a lot of times we get folks that come in and pitch, pitch ideas to us. And they'll say, well, I want to open up a restaurant and I make the greatest, you know, um, what did we have yesterday? We, we make the greatest, Ellen here makes the best uh, garlic shrimp you've ever had. So Ellen makes great garlic shrimp. But we don't know what the margins are on the garlic shrimp. So I need her to look at the business plan and help me to understand how much can she sell and in the end what her costs are going to be to make that. And, and, and percentage-wise, we can look at her business and say, okay, one, if this restaurant is making 3% net, and, and Ellen comes in and tells me she's going to make 30% net, we need to have a further conversation on how she's exactly going to do that. Because by and large, lenders will rely on history. It's easy, it's easy to look back, it's hard to look forward. Um, but it is, we do need to get comfortable with your projections, and we need to get comfortable with your repayment ability. This is the number one thing lenders want to know. Can you pay me back, please? Um, and we all want to see, see you be successful in doing that. Um, the fourth area that we have there is collateral. And um, this, I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Any equity you may have in your real estate property, and any kind of CD you may have in terms of cash, any, any collateral that's business collateral, list all of your collateral. That's not necessarily a, a requirement of the SBA that you have full collateral, and we're going to that in a little bit. Um, but collateral, they're going to ask you about collateral. If you have a partner, they're going to ask you about uh, uh, collateral and partner as well. Uh, a, good, a good time maybe to talk about collateral in terms of a partner, anyone that's involved with the business. 
one of the rules we have at the SBA and a lot of lenders have is that if, you're part, if you have a partner in the business and they have a certain percentage, what we say is 20%. So anyone that's 20% or more owner of your business, we now have to look at all these items when it comes to that person, including collateral. So if, you're, if you have a partner, if you have somebody that just wants to be a partner and, and invest money with you, make sure you keep them under 19%, otherwise they're now a full partner. There, you know, a lot of people have silent partners. Um, once they're 20%, we, re we really need to hear from them. Um, now, when I, having said that, we just set the minimum bar. We, we say 20%, but a bank may say, you know what? I know this other partner is only 10%, but we're going to ask for their collateral as well. They can do that. The SBA cannot tell them they can't do that. Again, we set the minimum bar. So if the bank were to come in and say, well, we're going to have a 25% partner, but we're not going to require that partner to be a full partner, we won't let them do that. But if they want to say a 10% partner, that's up to the bank. So again, everything I tell you is just kind of a minimum bar. Each bank may be slightly different in terms of how they handle their lending, especially SBA. So just be aware of that. Because uh, sometimes I get people to come back to me and say, you said I did not need X, but the bank said I did. Well, again, I'm setting the minimum bar. And I get that not, not as often. I'm not a loan officer anymore, but it happens. The last item you want to address in your business proposal or loan, loan proposal is conditions. And what I like to say is that if it doesn't fit in those first four, put it in that last one. And that would be things like who's your competition, what location are you going to be in, um, you know, but talk to us about the industry. There's a lot of small business lenders in the next door. There's some in this room. We have seen hundreds of different business ideas. We're an expert on probably not many of them. So we really need your education. You need to educate us on what's going on in your industry and what's going on in your business and how you can fit in. What are the conditions going on in that industry? Uh, so that's the last uh, final piece of that.